Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Apurva and I make helpful travel videos. So, I am here to tell you about everything that you need to know before making your trip to Vietnam. This is the only video that you will need to watch before planning your trip to Vietnam. In this, I will cover everything from flights to documents to accommodation to food to uh, places to visit or basic itinerary everything pretty much that you need to know before planning your trip to Vietnam. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So let's start this video right from booking your flights. Flights. So if you book your flights well in advance from India to Vietnam, you can get your returns for as low as 20 to 30,000 rupees. So all the major airlines fly from India to Vietnam. It's a direct flight. The duration is about four and a half to five hours. Documents required to travel to Vietnam. As of September 2022, you require an e-visa which is mandatory but these rules keep changing all the time so it's better you stay updated. You can apply for an e-visa. It costs 25 USD from the official government website and I will link it in the description below. Next, you might require an RT-PCR. As of now, it's not mandatory but a few airlines do check for it so it's better you uh, find out with your airlines before traveling if you require an RT-PCR. And another thing that I recommend for every international travel is taking a health insurance. So the three things you require, mandatory, e-visa, optional, RT-PCR, health insurance. Number of days required in Vietnam. So I would recommend a minimum of 10 to 14 days to cover all the important places in Vietnam. But if you have time constraint, you can definitely plan your trip within one week as well. Let's talk about the currency. Vietnam's currency is the Vietnamese dong. And what I did was I changed my Indian currency to USD before leaving because USD usually gets the best exchange rate. So I have changed my currency to USD and after going there, I was changing it to the local currency from local places. So that is one of the options that you can choose if you are traveling from India to Vietnam. SIM card. You can get a SIM card as soon as you land in Vietnam. You can choose between either Mobifone or Viatel. Here are a few apps you will be requiring when you travel to Vietnam. One is Grab which will help you book taxis and you can order food as well. The second one is Google Translate which will help you communicate with the locals. The third would be Google Maps which will help you navigate through Vietnam. The fourth app would be booking.com where you can find accommodations. Make sure you set your filters properly and proceed with your bookings. You can also take internal flights which are usually pretty reasonable if you book in advance. So you can easily take internal flights from one place to another. You get flights anywhere between 3,000 to 5,000 rupees. Alternatively, you can take a bus or a train as well from one place to another if you don't have time constraint. And this definitely adds to the experience as well. So the bus roughly costs around 1,500 rupees and the train roughly costs around 2,000 to 3,000 rupees. Local commute. Vietnam is a country with the highest number of motorbikes. So you can definitely rent a bike if you know how to ride one. You can rent a bike between 350 to 500 rupees. Alternatively, you can also book a grab taxi. Accommodations. So in Vietnam, you will pretty much find decent accommodations right from the range of 1500 to 4000 rupees and you can book everything online. The apps I was using were mainly booking.com. I pretty much use booking.com throughout my trip, but you can also use Agoda. You can set the right filters and uh, book your accommodation well in advance. Vietnam's accommodations are pretty good. That was one of the things that I did for accommodations. So let me tell you everything about how I planned my trip and the mistakes I made along the way so you don't make them. So the first mistake I made was I booked my return flights well in advance and when I did that I booked my entry port of entry and port of exit from the same place so I booked both the flights 
from Ho Chi Minh while I had plans of touring the whole of Vietnam. That was the first mistake I made and I had to change the flights later which was very inconvenient. So that is one thing that you need to keep in mind while you're planning your trip. If you're planning to tour the whole of Vietnam, then it's better you enter either from Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh and exit from the other place because one is in the north and one is in the south so that you don't have to go back and forth just to take your flight. So I divided my trip into three categories, south, center and north. South, I arrived at Ho Chi Minh and I did a little sightseeing of Ho Chi Minh, took day trips to Kuchi Tunnels and Mekong Delta. After that, I took an overnight bus to Dalat. After touring Dalat for a day, I took a flight from Dalat to Da Nang, which is in the center of Vietnam. Now, after reaching Da Nang, I did a little sightseeing of Da Nang, covered all the important places like Dragon Bridge. And then after that, I took a day trip to Bana Hills. I also spent two days in Hoi An, came back to Da Nang and took a flight to the north, which is Hanoi. So around the north of Vietnam is where you will find the maximum scenic beauty. So make sure you leave a lot of days for the north of Vietnam. So what exactly I did was I toured Hanoi for a day. From Hanoi, I took day trips to Ninh Binh and Halong Bay. Now Ninh Binh has Trangan, Moa Caves, a lot of stunning scenic beauty. This was what I did for day trips. And then I also decided to go to Banjiok, which is one of the most stunning waterfalls in Vietnam, in the border of Vietnam and China. So uh, this place is an absolute must visit if you don't have time constraint, because this trip will at least take you three days to cover everything, but it's absolutely stunning and worth it. So if you have enough time, do add Banjiok as well to your list in the north of Vietnam. Apart from this, I also did two days of Sapa. Sapa has the most beautiful scenic beauty. So this is another place that you shouldn't miss if you don't have time constraint. So this was my basic itinerary. I feel like I have pretty much covered most of the important places and my trip was two weeks long and I could cover all these places within two weeks. Add or remove a few of these places depending on your itinerary. So I am listing out a few more beautiful places that you can add to your itinerary if you have more time right here. Food. Now coming to food, if you're a vegetarian, most of the major cities definitely have vegetarian or vegan cafes and restaurants. The only thing is, it's better you do your research well in advance so that you don't waste a lot of time looking for good vegetarian or vegan restaurants. Apart from that, Vietnam is also known for the Vietnamese pho. So don't forget to try it while you are in Vietnam along with a lot of other local delicacies. So in the south of Vietnam, the food is a little uh, different from the north and the delicacies vary in each region. If you're a foodie, you can try different dishes depending on where you are. Here are some of my recommendations. Vietnam is full of very interesting experiences. Don't forget to check out the night markets, Vietnamese egg coffee, interesting cafes, Vietnamese pho, freshly prepared seafood and uh, freshly prepared street food as well. Seating is very different, it's very low and then you most of the times you face the road and sit. These little little things add a lot to your experience and definitely don't miss out on the local cuisine. It's absolutely delicious. And communicating with the locals. Vietnamese locals are very friendly, but communication is a bit of a problem. So make sure that you have Google Translate to make your experience pretty effortless and make sure that you have enough data for maps and Google Translate. This will make your trip much more convenient. I have listed out a detailed budget breakdown of my entire trip right here. This is listed in INR and you can take a screenshot if required. I will be listing more information about my day trips in the description below. Um, if you want 
to uh, know about my detailed itinerary i have made detailed videos about my entire experience of vietnam so i will be linking it in the description and you can check it out so we have come to the end of our vietnam video i hope this was helpful for you and if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe it would really mean a lot thank you